without water, without proper timing of water, without our ability to use it, we couldn't exist. For Glenn Cox, water is life, or at least crucial to his livelihood. This fifth generation farmer grows sweet corn, field corn, and peanuts on his 1,000 acres in southwest Georgia. And season after season, Cox is at the mercy of the weather. And crops like this sweet corn are totally dependent on critical water at critical time. But getting water when they need it is an ongoing challenge for Georgia farmers. This region's been battling drought for several years, and the state's locked in a 20-year-old water war with Alabama and Florida. Those two states covet Georgia water from places like the Chattahoochee Flint River Basin. That water forms the Apalachicola River in Florida and also flows into Alabama to help irrigate crops, generate power, and protect freshwater ecosystems like the Appalachian Chicola Bay off the coast of Florida. Without water, there's really not much agriculture here. Certainly, maybe even more important than even oil in our part of the world. Now it looks like science may be able to broker a peace treaty. Welcome to the Stripling Irrigation Research Park. 130 acres packed with a thousand test plots from peanuts to pecans, soybeans to sweet corn. Here, University of Georgia researchers are working with experts from the Department of Agriculture and even the Nature Conservancy. The goal, grow more, use less. The method, modern technology. We call it variable rate irrigation, and it was developed to allow our farmers to do a better job of applying their irrigation water. In essence, it makes it much more precise than earlier. Statewide, Georgia farmers use about 15,000 of these center pivot sprayers, huge metallic structures that roll slowly across entire fields, spraying massive amounts of water, and a lot is wasted. But now a new computerized system senses moisture levels in the soil to see which areas need more or less water and adjust the volume accordingly. Result, a 17% reduction in water used. In Georgia, there are approximately 15,000 center pivots, so if we equipped maybe just two-thirds of those, let's say, with a system like this, we could save billions of gallons of water a year. And this is only one of many ways science is seeking to save this precious resource. Drip irrigation, watering crops beneath the soil, and developing crops that need less water to begin with. It's a cooperative effort, scientists and those who work the soil making changes for the present and the future. Water is critical. Wasting water is foolish. We have to be stewards of this land, and being a steward means we have to manage it properly. 